The countdown to Rio is on. We are just 50 days away from the opening ceremonies in Rio and right here on Local 4. And it is just a mad dash to get everything ready there in time. Devin is live in Rio tonight. And Devin, you are getting a firsthand look at everything going on there. What do you say? Are they going to be ready or what? Well, that is the question of the uh, month, really, here of the season in Rio. Welcome to world famous Copacabana Beach here in Rio de Janeiro. It's already nighttime here. We're only one hour ahead of you, but we're in the Southern Hemisphere, which means the first day of winter is Monday. So yes, the Summer Olympic Games are gonna be held during the Brazilian winter. You already know about the long catalog of issues facing Rio as we head into this games. I talked uh, with, uh, Michael, uh, I'm sorry, Tomas Bach, the uh, president of the International Olympic Committee this week, he told me despite all those worries, it's full speed ahead. What's your level of confidence in uh, Rio's preparedness? I have a great level of confidence uh, because we have seen uh, great progress there in the last couple of uh, months and uh, now we see the infrastructure uh, growing up. Uh, everything, uh, I guess, uh, will be uh, ready and uh, when you see the kids and the enthusiasm here, then uh, you know that uh, the world uh, will be very welcome in Brazil. Pretty rosy outlook, but a lot to be done here in these next 50 days. The game's 50 days from today. We watched today as they worked on this canal to get rid of the vegetation, to get the water moving again so that it would be less of a, a festive environment for mosquitoes. However, we've also found since we've arrived here, Zika seems to be an international worry, but not really a local one. You know, I would certainly advise people to use insect repellent, but, um, and long sleeves as much as possible, but uh, equally, I don't, um, you know, live in, 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 daily, in daily dread. Unfortunately, in Brazil, there are quite a lot of uh, <laughs> hazards, both natural and human, and so uh, you have to uh, accept that as a certain, uh, uh, a certain feature of the, uh, of the country. Yeah, it's interesting. I don't think we've talked to one local here who worries about putting on insect repellent each day. But there are other worries, obviously, on the international scale. Zika is just one of them. They have to worry about the political climate that's going on here right now. It's chaos in Brasilia. They may be impeaching a president as these games get, get underway. And there are also still worries about security and safety for visitors. And in fact, today we had to cut one of our interviews off because gunfire from one of the nearby favelas was getting a little too close for comfort. I don't know that we were ever in any danger, but our security expert who was with us felt like it was time to get the heck out of there. So there are a lot of things to juggle, a lot of balls in the air, and we'll continue to uncover those. Can't wait to get back and tell you more about our trip here to the Olympic City, Rio de Janeiro, which is beautiful, but as we found, very complicated. Stephen Kimberly, back to you. Fascinating that the locals are not that concerned with Zika because that seems all the talk around here. And tell me too, Devin, as far as like the temperature, what's it like there? It's it's interesting. I wasn't even thinking that, you know, it's dark there already. Even and winter, it's going to be winter, winter when exactly. the Olympics start. And yeah. Winter. Well, in, in fact, that's one of the what's, that's one of why uh, we've seen one of the reasons why we've seen the worries about Zika actually go down. They were worried about that when, a couple of months ago when they were in the middle of the summer here, but now that we've moved, moved into the winter. Uh, the daytime highs getting up into the mid to higher 70s. Uh, right now, it's uh, down into the 60s, and by late later on this evening, it'll be yes, along Copacabana Beach, it'll be uh, in the 50s. Uh, so mm -hmm. they generally believe that by the time we get to August, which of course is the middle of the winter, there really won't be too many worries about mosquitoes. Had not we'll see if that's enough to persuade uh, spectators to make their way here. Had yeah. not given that yeah. too much thought. That's yeah, it. that's pretty interesting. All right, good deal. Well, thank you, Devin. Enjoy the rest of your night at the beach.